All right, so now that we've given kind of some background uh, discussion on comfort print, given our points of view on it, uh, we're going to actually look at some here. Yeah. And I do apologize. Um, you know, I'm going off of, oh, can you still see me, by the way? I can see you. Kind of, kind of lost you there. Okay, maybe I'll just do it that way. But um, I apologize if these look a little bit blurry. They're just images that were um, downloaded from christianbook.com. So if you see these in an actual print Bible, they're going to look even better. Um, they, they do look a little bit fuzzy. Yes, that's, there you go. That's what it'll really look like. But here's what I want to do. We're, we're going we're gonna to give our kind of ratings of these. Uh, we talked about that okay. uh, bef before we, before we uh, uh, started this video. We, we did talk about kind of rating them. But what I'm going to yeah. do first, I'm going to put you on the spot, Tim. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to show you some ones and I want you to tell me uh which translation. Okay. These are, you know, not, not to... based on the words, but based on the font. <laughs> okay. I can't read it. Oh, so you can't see it well enough? No, 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 I'm saying I can't like actually read the verses. You're allowed. Yeah, I I'm not really. But if you just were generally looking at this based on the font, what would you guess um and in the typeset, you know, what would you guess? Okay, this, so uh, this is a comfort print. This is, um, I would guess that this is the, okay, I'm trying to go back to what I know about these. You know, I'm looking for one specific letter because I know that there's one translation where they do this letter different. I'm wondering if you saw this as well, where they do this one letter different. I would guess that this is the new King James. Okay, that, that. That's a good guess. Oh, you're, you're one letter off. It's the, so King, it's the King James. James. Yes, it's the that's King the James. King James. There's no these or thou's in there. Um, yeah, one one of the I think one sign I can see here would be like it says here in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Oh, um, nice, someone can correct nice. me if I'm wrong. I think uh, the New King James would say heavens and the earth. Okay. Um, so that's so yeah, yeah, the, the words didn't give it away. Well, <laughs> I was going to note to you is that when I was looking at them, I, I think, and this may be, it might be intentional, I don't know, the New King James and the King James are very similar fonts in the comfort print. And I think that's kind of cool because one is, is derived from the other. So I, I think it makes sense that they would be very similar. There's just subtle differences here yeah. and there. So I, yes. I accept the fact that I missed that one because it was pretty close. That was a tough one. That was a tough yeah. one. I think this, I, I know some of these will be easier. Let's, let's see what the okay. next one is. What do you think that one is? <laughs> okay. I know that one right away. Okay. The, the fifth word is gospel and the lowercase G <laughs> in the NASB. This is the NASB, right? Yeah. yeah. The lowercase G is the only um in the in the NASB is the only one that looks like that, which I would call a normal looking G. The the other one is like the more uh, flourished G that has a little squiggly circle at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And the NASB is the only comfort print font that has a normal looking G. <laughs> and I think okay. the NASB font from Comfort Print is is a pretty I would call it like the the middle of the road. You know, it's a pretty normal standard com English like comfortable. And I keep using the word comfortable and they're called comfort print, which is kind of funny, but it's, it's really easy, <laughs> easy for me to read. I do think it's one of the, the better ones for sure. Yeah. And, uh, I, I think, uh, the NASB in my opinion has a good use of space. It's, it's actually a fairly large font and yet they're able to, to fit a lot in there. So I, yeah, absolutely. It's good. All right. Um, so that's all that that's NASB. That's a single column NASB. Let's see what the okay. next one is. Okay, that 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 one you might find fairly easy. This is I I'm I'm tempted to say NIV simply because of the blue because they use a lot of blue in the NIV. But as I look at the image, yeah, that's definitely the NIV comfort print. It's one of the more unique comfort print yeah. fonts. Yeah, um, it, it is NIV. That is NIV. It and has a little bit more of a, a stylized. I don't know how to describe. As I looked at it, I thought it's the to me it's the the most stylized. It has some like just funky edges and funkiness to it almost is, is like a word I would use, but not in a bad way. It's just, it's definitely different. Yeah. And, um, I, I think people, people have probably the strongest opinions about the, the NIV font. 
Um, is this the one actually, that they changed? I, they did. They actually changed. There was a little bit of space between some of the letters, like the with the E's. And uh -huh. if I remember yeah. correctly, they they said that with the with some of the fonts, and I can't remember which way it is. Maybe if it's really large, they'll still keep the space in there. But if it's a smaller size, they'll take that space out. I might yeah. have that backwards, but I think that's how it went. I saw so, a lot of comments about that early on in my Bible reviews about how they changed it, and I had no idea what people were talking about. So <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if I've even seen a lot of the older ones. Yeah, I might have a sample here. Let me see if uh, – okay, it's not it's not here right away. But okay. I th think I might be able to show you one. But anyway, let's, let's, let's see the next uh, – the next comfort print. What do you think that is? That. So if and you the can be playing at home was too, KJV, by the way. Then I would guess that this one is NKJV. Yep, that's right. Yep, very similar. Yep, they are. And um, I, th I think that the NKJV is interesting. They haven't changed the, f the, the font in the text from... From what I know, they haven't changed that at all. But they, I've noticed in some of the editions that the the uh, the um, titles of the books, for example, mm -hmm. they have changed the yeah. font on the titles of the books. So I think, and I was going to say this about the NIV. I think they were really going for a more contemporary look because mm -hmm. the NIV is a newer translation as opposed I to think, some of these his you absolutely know, old I translations. Think the first three comfort prints in those promo vi videos originally, and I think these came out in 2017, maybe 2018. Um, mm -hmm. They made King James, NKJV, and NIV. So you had two that were kind of a little bit more traditional, and like I said, they look similar because they're you know KJV and NKJV, and then the NIV was the 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 more modern mm -hmm. kind of out there. I said stylized earlier. I think that's you know it kind of had a an extra thing to it. So that, that makes sense when they were releasing those three to do something a little bit different with that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's go to the next one. Do you know this is another one? more stylized one. This is the NRSV. Is that right? Good job. I Good think the job. NRSV, yes. it, I got the new NRSV single column reference Bible when it came out last year. And I remember thinking it's just as we've just talked about, it's, more closer to the NIV in terms of style. It almost has like a slantedness to it, um, not italic, but it just has a little bit of movement to it. And a lot of the words mm -hmm. have these little little edges on the edge of them that, that kind of make them uh, different. And I think it really it's really sharp. Yeah, yeah, and um, th this is this is one of the ones I actually like quite a bit I, i'm yeah. looking forward to, to kind of rating these but I, I like this one quite a bit to be honest with you i think it looks it actually still kind of has a traditional look to it to me mm -hmm. um yeah. especially in the actual font you know mm -hmm. now the whole typeset of the page yeah. you know is kind of unique but uh but i, I like it yeah All it's right. nice and uh let's see that is the same one all right so I think you can kind of see uh, on the page the cheats, like the NRSV, that line with the the upward and downward uh, triangles right beneath the word Genesis. That's like something that it continues throughout the book. So they have these little embellishments in different translations that kind of are thematic, and they, they use them in a lot of different Bibles. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to see if I can uh, – if I can find – I do. Oh, I actually, there was one or two that I didn't, didn't show that I still wanted to show. This is, this okay. is actually another one. Um, I have this right next to me, actually. This is the NET. Am I correct? Very good. Very I good. like it. I think, I don't want to give away what my favorite one is. I like the NET a lot. It's a little bit thinner and, and it, it resembles to me, it, it feels very similar to the NKJV and the King James, but it's a little thinner and it has certain letters have just a little bit more of a modern look to them, which makes, as we said, it makes a lot of sense that they would do that with a, a modern translation. Yeah, yeah. I have the yeah, NET, I like that one a uh, full notes edition, which has, uh, you know, on some pages, it has like four words of text. Like this is the text of scripture. And this is all of the notes. And this is one of my favorite Bibles ever because it's all of the translator notes with the text of the scriptures. 
And I think that's like the best thing about the NET is all those translator notes. Yeah, and I purposely didn't show you an image with a ton of translator notes. That yeah, been that dead gives away. Away. <laughs> when you first open this Bible, you're like, what is this? This is so strange. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So what we should do now, and by the way, I wish I could I could show it. I, I thought I had it, but it's a little tricky right now on Zoom showing it. But there was one image I had of an older edition and by old, I mean like maybe a year or two old <laughs> yeah. of the uh, NRSV before they made a change on that one too, by the oh, way. Oh, really? Okay. And originally the Gs on that were just kind of, they didn't come all the way around. They just kind of were cut off. So yeah, that's like what I was saying. It has these like sharp there. edges on it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you were you were referring to? I wasn't specifically referring to the Gs, but I that I feel like that is a a, a thematic element for that, for yeah. that type. So that was more pronounced. It was even more pronounced when it originally it. came out. Okay. So they've they've dialed back a little some of the things that made the fonts stand out a little bit more originally, and yeah. people were like, "That's too much. That's too different." They kind of dialed back on that, you know. So it's interesting. All right. So what are your? How would you rate these for okay. for you? Give me your your top ones. I've made a list. I that NET is my favorite. I, I think the NET Comfort Print is it's the perfect mix of modern and classic. It's really easy to read. Like this NET Full Notes Edition, the the Bible, the the typeface is not huge for the words of scripture, and it's even it's even smaller for the the notes. But I find it so easy to read and so comfortable to read and um I just, there's just kind of that X factor that when I look down at the page, I'm like, oh, I really like that. It's just something that is really, really comfortable to me. Um, mm -hmm. So I'd put NET first. I would probably put, it, it's really tough for me to decide for second place between the NASB and the NKJV. I like both of those a lot. So I'd probably let NASB slide into second place and put New King James third. Um, okay. And because kjv is so close to it i'd put it right there within kjv so i would go net1 nasb2 and then new king james and king james 3 as far as just the the natural look and the feel and i know what i just did and I, i'm kind of surprised at myself is that I, that means i'm leaving the two more modern ones at the end of my list the nrsv and the niv um and that probably says something about me. I think that I'm like this cool young millennial hipster guy, but I, I actually like the more classic, traditional looking Bible uh, typefaces. <laughs> That's awesome. What about you, Tim? Yeah, do you have rankings? I do. And I think, uh, yeah, we probably agree quite a bit. I mean, I actually okay. had NASB way up there. Let's see if yeah. I can find it again. There it is. I really like the look of that. I don't know what it is. I just, I like it. I like yep. the overall type set of that page there and I and think you know what, font, what you just uh, said i think is the the kind of one of the x factors here is that you know however many people watch this video they might look at those pictures and they might say oh i like that one instinctively to a different one and that's it's it's all it's not right yes. or wrong it's just the personal preference the thing that strikes us as i like the look of that i want to read that and i tell people all the time when you're trying to find a bible that's one of the things you have to just look at the page and go does this does this make sense to the way my brain works and yeah. does, do i want to yeah. read this and if and if you do then that's great you know but yeah, I, for some I, people that's not going to be the same case i totally agree and and i have a very nerdy disposition as i often tease about <laughs> and this you know i think the verse by verse it just looks so organized sure. <laughs> and you know you know it just and i think that's part of what it is it just it's very Absolutely organized looking to, to my brain. And I, and I like that, yeah. but, um, but the, the next one I had was the NET. And yep. I think, yeah, that's the NET there. I, I like that one a lot. Uh, I also like the NRSV. Yep. If I have that here, I like that one a lot. And then I have after that would be the, the, the King James, the new King James. I kind of put okay. those together. They're really similar. And then the last yeah. for me would be the the NIV, I, I, I don't know that I, I don't dislike it, but you know, it's, it's probably out of all of them, just, just one that kind of is so, so I think maybe part of it is that even though it's considered a modern one, there's so many of us who 
grew up with the NIV and we're so familiar with the language of the text. And like I said earlier, when you look at a, a new, more modern typeface with the words that you're so familiar with that you've got, you know, kind of hidden in your heart, so to speak. Yeah, I think sometimes it just causes some sort of dissonance with how familiar you are with it. And I know I have a ton of those like old you know, thin line NIV Bibles. I have, you know, Holman made them back. Everybody made those NIV Bibles back in the day. I have a couple of those lying around. It's just like a very classic traditional font. So for something to step in and be a little bit more modern and, and a little bit more funky, I think it, it just kind of creates a little bit of that for some people. Um, but, mm. but again, I look at that font and think if I sit down and start reading one of my NIV Bibles, I have one right here. It, it really flows well, you know, like the, the purpose of what they were going for. I think it yeah. definitely accomplishes that. Um, True. But it's interesting how that works in our brains for sure. Oh yeah. A lot of it's mental. And that's why it's actually really cool to do a little test. Like I did earlier where I just kind of showed yeah. you the ones and to see how you thought about it. Cause I find the same thing with, with how people view, you know, even things like uh, food products and drinks and, a lot yep. of it is mental. That's why you do a blind taste test. Yeah. And it's always shocking to people how their opinions, when they don't have the visual in front of them, you yep. know, the brand name or whatever, it's it's shocking to people how hard it is to actually tell what they think they know so well. <laughs> yeah, that's totally true. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, so I would like to hear what people, what their opinions are in the comments. We definitely yeah, want to get comments. your vote on this. But uh, we did get to hear expert opinion today uh, oh. from Tim Wildsmith on uh, <laughs> expert on font. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know you said it's just a you know matter of personal opinion and and there's no right answer. But I think you're more right than other people <laughs> because. Uh, no, Can I'm I use kidding. that with my wife the next time we get in a disagreement? Just to say, oh I'm no, more I think right. she's she's probably even more right than you actually. I know she heard me say that because she's right over there and she's probably smiling right now and thinking that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. Well, yeah, I don't know. She might've been rolling, rolling her eyes when I kept calling you an expert, right? <laughs> she probably was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it's been good to talk about this and I'm hoping we can talk again. A topic that I was thinking about is uh, maybe talking about Allen Bibles Oh uh, man! Because I know you like them, oh. and I think that'd be a fun thing to talk about. What do we like about? Are you Alan an Allen Bible fan, Tim? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. I was I was afraid you were gonna like say we were gonna have like a debate or something because you didn't. I like should have. I should have. That would have actually been a, a better lead in and and really you know got <laughs> we could have really garnered up a large audience for that. We, we could have the the, the Allen debate. Yeah, if I like takes the Skyler side, I'm like. Yeah. Skyler's better than Allen and you take the Allen side, you know, we could have a big debate. We, I just, I just recorded, I mean, this is just funny to watch the video because it's humorous. I just recorded an unboxing video right here in this spot. I posted it a few days ago of me unboxing a brand new Allen Bible and it was 100% first take genuine reaction. I was giggling. I was like, I was going, Ooh, you know, and, and I made fun of myself after I did it, but it was like, that is what I, I love. There's something about those Bibles just, you know, they they work for me. And when I get a new one, I'm like, I get so giddy. It's so silly. But, um, yeah, I, we can definitely talk Allen Bibles for sure. Okay, so it won't be hard to it won't be hard to convince you to come no, back and talk about no, that. No, let's just tell. continue this video going right now. We can keep going. <laughs> I think this was good. I think this is good. I, I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we we definitely put a lot out there, uh, in, in that that I think people some will agree with what we're saying, and some will have their opinions, but that's okay. Yeah. That's what we wanted to just do. Just have your opinion share. nicely. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And be mindful of if the creator of a font is actually yes. reading your opinion. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That's good. Well, thank you so much, Tim. This is really good. I appreciate you coming back on. Thanks for having me, Tim. This is awesome. God bless. You too, ma'am.